That was two bucks. I think it raised the price. They raised the price our senior year. Yeah. Now, no? nothing. Wait. If I want to see a Rangers game, I can pay like 70 bucks. Yeah. And I got to drive down there. Man, I went from do whatever I want whenever I want with literal no responsibility, but I complained about having homework. Now I got no homework, but it's wake up, go to work, come home, do stuff, eat, yep. go to bed. We can only really do stuff on the weekends. When we were in college, the weekends were just like extra bonus time, and we did stuff all the time. Yep. Man, I, I used to make fun of people for wake up, go to work, come home, watch TV, go to bed. Now yep. I'm all those things, except I replace watch TV with some other stuff. Yeah, like this. Like this. I mean, uh, the biggest problem is that we had all our friends together. We had a huge posse. We had our front row crew. Well, we made the posse there. Yeah, and we had a posse there because we made it there, and we were real close. And now we gotta find. We gotta make a new posse here, but there's no. It's not easy because we don't have a giant pile of nerds to to run through the uh, sieve. But it's cool because we moved out here, and bit by bit, as all our friends from college graduate or get jobs or whatever, they're moving out here. Eh, kinda. Yeah, we we'll got a see. good bit. A We're bit. better off than staying there. Definitely better off than staying. Because there. there was a time when I thought, you know, living here at RIT is great. I could just live in this town forever and have the same awesome forever. And then I realized that, no, because everyone else will leave, and I won't get a good job because the market there is glutted with kids who all want to do the same thing. And it's kind of a crappy area outside of the college. The only thing that made RIT great was the people. Giant pile of nerds in one bas- basket. We don't live near a game store anymore. Yeah, I mean, the best game store I've ever been in in my life is still Millennium in Rochester. I think it's the biggest game store. It's one of the biggest. I don't know if it's the biggest, but it's up there. But it's like, even though, you know, all right, so now we can buy all the board games we didn't have before, but now we have no people to play them with. But, I mean, it's not like we have no people, because we have a lot of friends who live near enough to where they can hang out for a weekend. We've had at least one big party where everyone came and we had a giant We're going to have a bigger party where everyone comes on New Year's. Oh, God. On New Year's, I think we're going to have more people than our house can hold. We should get even, like, the such extraneous people, like like my family, your family, and, and make it crazy. I've been invited. Pretty much, I have told everyone I think is cool. And I haven't gotten to everyone yet because it's still a ways off. And I'm pretty much trying to contact everyone I know. And I'm being like... Like, so, even really, like like... Can even like yeah, way I'm telling out there. Everyone, we should get every warm and, and even some cold bodies. Yeah, I wonder if Dwayne's still alive. No, we don't want Dwayne. Dwayne. <laughs> God, Dwayne was when we first got to RIT, and we all like the first the way we all met was because we went to this gaming club, and we're all standing there, we're all like little freshmen, none of us know each other, and then we hear a guy yell in the distance. I'm running a third edition D&D game. He wasn't game. in the distance. Well, like on the other side of the room. No, he was, well, maybe you were on the other side of the room. Yeah. I wasn't. Because I saw him, he stood up on a table. He's like, I'm running a third ed D&D game. And I ran over there, and I met a bunch of geeks. I know, I walked in expecting to play some Battletech on my Battletech. Uh. And Katsu was there with his crazy umbrella. <laughs> and I talked to him, because he was liking the Battletech, even though... It, it was he didn't play it for so many years, even <laughs> though we had already played it out. In all those times in, in Peterson three, he had never played BattleTech until like two years later. Yeah, Katsu was awesome, but he's not good at BattleTech. Even though I saw, I, I met him before anyone else, and then I was right there with all the group of people, and this guy and was this like, guy, yeah, he was like win. third ed D and D. So he, we all make our characters. I never, like, I had last D and D I saw was second ed. So I was like third ed, holy crap! I had just bought third ed, and I had just converted a character to third ed. So like, <laughs> I barely knew it. Mm-hmm. And it was awesome because this guy seemed really cool, and it was a huge group. So we split it up into like two groups, and there's going to be a DM and a co DM. This crazy D and D game, and the first session was awesome. It's pretty good. So we uh, go the next week to play again, and we learn that Dwayne apparently has all like this amount of awesome in his body, and he spent it all that night, and all that was left was this pot smoking doofus husk. Just a husk of a man with, like, pot smoke flowing around The other there. DM guy was actually cool, but he disappeared. Yeah, he, like, literally disappeared. I never heard from him again. Yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, D&D. We used to play D&D. People say, you know, oh, we should make marijuana legal. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't, it, you know, chemically, you don't get addicted. Yeah, but it turns you into a, a, a stupid you know what? stoner you know what? who's completely you know useless. What? Dwayne would have probably been addicted to, like, Tylenol. 
I don't think there was any stop in his prolifery. Prolifery. Prolific. <laughs> no, not prolific. His proclivity toward addiction. Yeah, but he could have been addicted to something that wouldn't turn you into a doofus. Ah, he could have played World of Warcraft. You know, while World of Warcraft, it, it eats up all your time and some of your money, it doesn't turn you into a doofus. Doofus. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I miss D&D, though. We used to play Dungeons & Dragons for hours. And now, I guess you could. They, people do play two-person D&D. I'll be the DM. All right, let's play right now. All right. You're you're like a human fighter. No, I don't want to be a fighter. I want to be a wizard. Fine, you're a wizard. Sweet. You're level five. Oh, sweet. Fireball. Right. Fireball. So you're standing at the entrance to a dungeon. All right. There's a sign that says dungeon. I don't go in the dungeon because I have no reason to go in there, and it's scary and dangerous. All right. I turn around. A, uh, a new blocks your way. A what? A gnu, a gnu. As in the creature? Yes. Is it a normal gnu, or is it somehow... I detect magic on it. It is magical. It is. Magic text is written on the side that says, The Dungeon Master wants you to go into the cave. Oh, well, I must defy the Dungeon Master with all my power. You know what? A dragon eats you. Where did the dragon come from? I win. <laughs> That's why you don't play two-person D and D. Uh, we're trying to play a forum game of D and D, and it's fun, but it's kind of dragon. Mostly because we all have uh, <laughs> dragon dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Dungeons and dragon dragon. Yeah. After this podcast, I'm gonna go uh, drain the dragon. Drain the dragon. Yeah, dragon's a little full. Mm. Or what was the thing in order of the stick? The uh, the trouser titan. <laughs> the trouser titan. Coxmanship. <laughs> I have a plus five to coxmanship. Coxmanship. I wish there was someone to play D&D with besides me. Yeah, I mean, we're playing the online game, but it's kind of slow. But if everyone moves out here, I'll totally run a game. And everyone will run a game. We'll have a game every night of the week. It'll be crazy. Yep, Katsu wants to run a game. Our friend Alex, our DM, wants to run a game. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's run games. Let's First play a lot. Like, what do we want? All we want to do is play lots of games, and just crap gets in our way. So yep. then we obsess about getting rid of the crap, and we totally lose sight. All we want to do is sit around and play games the rest of our I lives. Mean, one of the happiest summers of my life. <laughs> we stayed in RIT over the summer, and we paid like half rent because that's how it worked back then. Mm -hmm. And you took like one class, and I worked at a sub shop, and our friend Alex worked at a sub shop, and we just played German board games, specifically Puerto Rico. Every day. Man, I realize if there's no bullshit in this entire world, all we would do is eat and play games all day. Uh, I'd Every probably day. ride my bike a lot and stuff. It would be part of a game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but Actually, that, like, most of our time would be spent yeah, play, pretty much playing games and eating. In college, the only time we stopped playing games is if we had bigger things to do or we were too tired to continue playing physically. Yeah. But even then, there are some games that don't take so much, like Apples to Apples. Yeah, Apples to Apples is a great game. Definitely a great game. They actually sell that in stores now. Carcassonne is actually in Toys R Us's some places. Ah. Nano Fictionary was always fun. Nano Fictionary is fun. We haven't played that in a while. I think I, I don't know where the instruction book is. I have to find it. Ah. Instructions are online anyway. See, there's no real moral here because we're still kind of in the transition to the real world, which the real world generally sucks, but... Don't think that you can stay in college because it won't work, but don't give up on trying to live the college lifestyle and become a 9-to-5 schlub. Definitely. you got to live the college lifestyle somehow outside of college, but that can't happen if you stay in college because every generation... Like, think about it. You're at RIT. Then you graduate, but you stay at RIT. All right. So now you've got some low-paying job because it's Rochester, but your rent's low, so it's okay. And you know people who are in school, so you still hang out there. Then another year goes by. Now you know people who know people in school, and you only kind of know people in the school. So when you hang out, people are always like, who's that? Then the next year, now you kind of know people who kind of know people who go to the school, and you're just that old creepy guy who's hanging around in the corner trying to get people to play apples to apples with him. <laughs> don't be that guy. Yeah. There are a lot of guys you don't want to be. That's one of the guys you don't want to be. But by that logic, what you should do is you should stay at the school for like an extra year and then leave. Yeah, which I kind of did. I could have left a year.